it's hard rock. Right now, I'm building an A-frame house in Canyon Lake, Texas that my wife and I are going to use as a short-term vacation rental. And as I'm digging the footings for the foundation, my new neighbor, Dennis, comes up to me and asks, why are you digging the footing so shallow? I told him that the IBC and IRC codes say that the minimum footing depth is 12 inches, which is what I was digging. But that question really made me think, why am I not digging the footings any deeper? That's when I started calling a bunch of structural engineers to ask them what to do, and you would not believe their answers. I mean, if they go a foot into the ground, that ought to be enough, right? <sighs> this thing is crazy. And last but not least, the shovel. So while I was digging the holes to the footings for the foundation, my neighbor Dennis came over to tell me that the night before, he actually had a dream about the house's foundation. He said, last night I had a dream that I was supposed to tell you to dig the footings in the back of the house to 24 inches deep instead of 12 inches. Which I replied, well, according to the 2021 code, the minimum depth for footings is 12 inches. Is there a reason you think I should dig deeper? And he said, well, I don't really know, but the house's weight plus the slope of the hill is kind of making me think that you should just dig the last row of footings at the back of the house 24 inches deep. And for me, at the end of the day, I just want to be the best home builder that I can possibly be. And even though I've read books about building and I've done light remodeling in the past. I don't know everything about everything when it comes to building. I'm always learning and I'm always researching. So the thing that bothered me the most was that I didn't have a good rebuttal for Dennis's statement. I didn't have a great reason as to why I shouldn't dig the footings any further. So that's when I went home and started calling structural and geotech engineers. My plan is just to dig down 12 inches because that's what code says. So I was thinking just go 12 inches down and I should be fine, really. The first structural engineer said, I need to hire a geotechnical engineer to get a geotechnical survey to give to the structural engineer so that he could design the foundation. So do you think I need a geotechnical? Then I called the geotechnical engineer and he said he wanted to dig down 15 to 20 feet into the ground to produce a soil sample. And that was going to take five to six weeks to produce. We know it's solid limestone. Do we really need a geotechnical to do a, a 20 foot drill down in the earth just to pull out a sample to take it back? Like, do you really need that? The geotechnical report would be $3,000 and the foundation design would be another $2,000. Another engineer said, I should drill a hole for a pier five or six feet into the ground. Then he would do a site visit, check out the hole that I dug, and then he'd be able to design a foundation for me. And he would charge me three to $4,000 just for that. Another engineer said that they didn't need to do a geotechnical survey and that they could just use the USDA soil map to understand the soil type in my area and then design a foundation around that. But really, how deep is deep enough? And if you're wondering why the city hasn't instructed me on how deep to dig the footings, it's because the city doesn't follow the IBC or the IRC code. So it's up to me as the contractor to make those decisions. And that's why in between speaking with engineers, I started doing my own research. And it turns out the type of soil I have at the land is called clay loam. And it has a bearing capacity of six megapascals, which is equal to 870 pounds of force per square inch. So if you do the math, that's 870 pounds of force per square inch multiplied by the area of the footings, which is 24 inches wide, 24 inches long, and that equals to 576 square inches. So when you multiply 576 square inches by 870 pounds of force per square inch, it equals to 501,120 pounds per footing, and the house has 20 footings. And so if you multiply the 501,120 pounds of force per square inch by the 20 footings that we have, that's a lot of weight that this foundation can hold. That's a lot of weight 
that the clay loam slash limestone can hold. And that's great news for the foundation. So we're really going to be building a super strong house for our guests, which makes me feel incredible. I want people to come here and have an amazing time with their friends, with their family, and I want them to have an amazing time safely. And for me, I want the peace of mind knowing that we built something that's super strong, super safe, and it's gonna last for years and years and years. And if you're wondering why I didn't know all of this math to begin with, well, this was me back in geology class in college. So with the basic structure of geology and the megapascal, oh, look who decided to join you know, us. Professor, like, it's really all good. Like, don't worry about me. Uh, you can just keep going, Son, it's cool. One day, this is gonna be very important to you. Class, I apologize. <laughs> now back to the basic structure of megapascals when it comes to limestone. Oh. So, so you can see I'm getting all these different answers from all these different engineers, but there's only one common objection, which is the footings need to be deeper than 12 inches. So here's why I believe that I'm getting all these different answers from all these different engineers. And it's because at the end of the day, these engineers are in business, right? So they have to sell the services, period. And in cells, there's a thing called FOMO, which is fear of missing out. Just means that in order for me to buy their services, I need to have some type of fear. I need to fear that I can't solve this problem on my own. I need to fear that only they can solve this issue. And if they don't sell the fear, they don't get the check. So they have to tell me, hey, you gotta dig down 20 feet to figure out what the problem is, or you're gonna have a huge issue. They have to say things like that in order for me to second guess myself and then possibly buy their services. Or if they just said, oh, you don't have an issue. Everything's totally fine. Just keep doing what you're doing. I have no reason to use their services. And then they would go out of business. It's really that simple. But then I actually came across one engineer who said, you know what? I've actually built two houses in Canyon Lake and I feel horrible about the idea of just taking your money. Listen, just dig down 24 to 30 inches and you'll be totally fine. So now that we know exactly how deep to dig the foundation, it's time to start digging. It's time to get to work. I wanna know, what do you think about why I got so many different answers from so many different engineers about one specific situation? What do you think? Comment down below, share the video with somebody you know, subscribe to the channel, and as always, I can't wait until you're here. Next time on the channel, in my last video, the engineer told me that the depth of our footings needs to be at least 24 inches deep as a bare minimum. Right here in the middle, I'm actually lower than two feet. But this limestone and clay loam soil is super Ooh. rocky. I can't go down any further. It's hard rock. And breaking the ground is really difficult. So okay. there's only one <laughs> option. So let's try this out. Oh, wow, oh my gosh. But I've never actually used a jackhammer before. Easy. And I'm borrowing this jackhammer from my neighbor. I guess I can just take it from there. It's really starting to take a toll on my hands. But worst of all, did I just break my neighbor's jackhammer on the first day of using it?